What's going on everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to the Superhuman Garden YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you what I'm going to be planting and there's going to be three different seeds. So I also wanted to tell you guys that I heard a story the other day of a guy going to get some cauliflower, a head of cauliflower. He thought it was going to be about $4 on the high end. And when he got to the register, that head of cauliflower was $8. $8 for a head of cauliflower. So this is the reason why I'm going to be uh, planting this first seed, which is our emerald crown broccoli. Okay, so cauliflower and bro broccoli are obviously in the same class, but I want to get a head start before things start to get way too inflated. Now, what I'm gonna do is reuse some some potting soil that I've used, and I think I grew some some uh, mustards in this pot here, and I'm just gonna simply reuse it by putting it in this tray here. So yeah, I don't have the cells, um, which is fine. All you have to do is just kind of go about every couple inches, and you're gonna sprinkle two two to three seeds. So I like to do two to three. That way, if one seed doesn't germinate, then guess what? The other one probably will. And the good thing about broccoli is you can grow two plants together and they'll do just fine. And you can transplant them into a, a five gallon bucket and they'll do just fine. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna dump this over. All right, now I'm just gonna spread it out. And I'm gonna take this here, and I'm gonna break it down. Okay? So I'm really just gonna break it all the way up. Gonna probably make a little bit of a mess, but it's all right. All right. I'm gonna make sure it's all even going across. And I like to reuse my soil. I don't, you know, if I don't have to pay for anything, I won't. And that's what we want to do. We want to save money, right? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our broccoli seeds. All right. And I'm going to just take a couple and I'm just going to sprinkle them right here. I'm going to come to the next area, sprinkle some here and just repeat this process. Every couple inches I'm sprinkling. All right, now I'm gonna start a new, a new row here. Same thing, a couple here, a couple there. I'm gonna continue this process all the way down. Now, can you guys guess what I'm gonna be planting next? I'm gonna be planting some onion next. And the reason why I'm planting onion is because it takes a while for them to, to form the bulb. Now, if you're growing the, the green onions or the top, the bunch onions, those don't take long, but the bigger white Spanish, those are gonna take a little bit longer. So that's why I'm gonna be planting those today too, okay? So the sweet white Spanish onion is what I'm gonna be planting next. All right, and I'm just going to get a few of them here and just sprinkle them across, all right? And as I transplant them, it's fine if they're growing on top of each other. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, in fact, a lot of onions do well just growing on top of each other. So it's no big deal. All right, just getting those coming across. Now, what you'll find in a lot of your potting soils, a lot of your compost, you'll randomly see onions popping up. And that's because the seeds are black 
and obviously a lot of people when they're working they're getting that compost together they can't see the seed so yeah it's, it's kind of hard to separate onion seeds once they get spread out and the next thing i'm gonna plant are turnips because we want to get some fresh greens before january is out so by it being december 10th 2022 this will allow us some time to get some fresh turnips in there and again turnips can grow on top of each other so when i transplant them if there's some that are growing together it really won't matter okay now if i want really big leaves with the turnips then i can separate them off and let them kind of do their thing but for me it really doesn't matter all right so i'm getting another row started here just coming straight across all right straight across and now we got a row of turnips okay now there's only one thing left to do and that's water this tray here put it in the uh greenhouse cover it up just in case any critters get in there because if critters get in there they'll definitely eat up the seeds so that's one of the downfalls to growing here in 5b uh you know during the, the colder months if critters slip in anywhere they'll eat your seeds up now when i water i'm not going to overdo it you just want to get it nice and soaked okay and what's going to happen is these seeds are going to self plant themselves because they're so tiny and a lot of these seeds won't even need to go all the way underneath the surface because they'll just go ahead and sprout up just because of the moisture and the temperature and i showed you guys um some of the seeds that got scattered around the garden were popping up in the middle of the rocks so you know these seeds are i mean they're they don't really need to be buried so remember that small seeds are do fine if you just sprinkle them let them self plant themselves the roots are going to tap down and then you'll see the seedlings start to pop up okay all right, so we've got the tray in this greenhouse here. And I'm gonna make sure everything is sealed up so that the heat will stay in there. And uh, we got a couple of 40 something degree day temps coming up. And uh, it should be 10 to 15 degrees warmer in there, which should be warm enough for things to start germinating in there. All right, well, I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me on this 30 degree morning here. That's why I've got my hood on. Uh, next video, we'll probably do, we'll talk about grow zones and that'll be out either later today or tomorrow sometime. So be on the lookout for that. Also, uh, for you guys that wanna know where I've been getting my seeds from from the last couple of years, uh, it's Hoss Tools. The link is down in the description. Uh, if you want some reliable seeds, uh, that have great germination rates. So again, the link is down in the description. Uh, Till next time, guys, thank you and bye.